Today I want to talk about trust. About trusting the right people and about how they can let you down. I trust way too easily and without caution. I trusted my mom to tell me things, but she didn't. I trusted my dad to be there for me, and he wasn't. I trusted Beth to tell me things, and she didn't. I trusted myself not to think about what's wrong in life, but rather to rejoice on what is good right now, at this moment. What is good? And that's when my anxiety starts creeping up on me, and I start freaking out because I can't find anything good. And there, right there is where I let myself down. I made an example out of my own body using the tools around me. I made an example out of my own body when I shamed myself in the mirror. I made an example out of my own body when I could look at myself and ask, who the heck are you? And that's when I knew that I couldn't be trusted. I would have never known. I know. She hides it very well. And you sure you heard this right? Yep. Straight out of Aria's mouth. I'm telling you, it's true. I have to tell my friends. Yes, go. Tell them. Did you hear? About Beth? Yeah, who would have known? I bet her and Arya are dating. I don't know. Stacy said she heard it from Arya, and we know her. Right, she lies, but maybe that's what she wants us to think. That she lied? Yeah, maybe she isn't this time. I'll find out. Where is everyone? Am I late? Aria! Kylie, where is everyone? We all know about what you did. I don't understand. Where is everyone? Is that the kind of best friend you are? You just tell their secrets? Or maybe you're more than friends and was tired of hiding it. What are you talking about? Why don't you ask Beth? She knows. Now, it's time for me to get to class early, like everyone else, because we didn't want to take a chance of being seen with you. Are you? Beth? What happened? How could you? I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about, Beth. You told everyone! That... I'm by. No, Beth, I didn't. I swear I didn't. I never would. I... I trusted you. I didn't tell. Who else could have? Who could have told? Who else knew? Arya, what are you doing? Am I not interesting enough for you to pay attention? I'm sorry. I was just thinking. Well, you're here to learn, not think until I tell you to. I'm going to have to send you to the prince- If I could have the following students to the office, please. Aria Jade, Beth Whitman, Aaron Schrod, and Abby Brum. Saved by the principal, I suppose. Leave and come back as soon as you're done in there. Are you serious? I told you I wasn't smoking. 
You weren't smoking cigarettes, but you were still smoking. What was I smoking? Don't pretend like you don't know. I wasn't smoking. These people aren't even my friends. None of them. I wasn't smoking anything, so I don't need to be here. Neither was I. Or me! There's still one other student that was smoking that needs to be here, but she wasn't in school today. We'll finish this conversation when she's back. Who is it? Kylie? She was in school today. I talked to her. How do you even get a list of our names? A note was left for me on my desk. Kylie probably wrote it. That's enough. Get back to class. I believe you. You do? I didn't tell anyone about Beth. I never would. Do you think she'll ever figure that out? I'm not sure. Hopefully. And until then, we need to figure out who did tell. No need to look any further. You told? How did you even know? I overheard it after the football game. Why are you telling us this? We could just tell everyone that you're lying. And you really think they believe you? <sighs> I have to go, Arya. It's been days, weeks. Beth won't talk to me, and neither will Abby. It's a good thing I'm here then. Penny, do you think I should stop trying to be their friend? I don't know. You're the only friend I have, and I couldn't imagine losing you. Even though we barely see each other. I know, but they have other friends. You three are my only friends. I need all of you. Even though you don't like either of them. What can I say? People try to steal my best friend. I don't really like them. Can't I have more than one best friend? You all are my best friends. Even though we see each other once a month? It's because I'm always busy. No, it's because you go to school all day. It's not like I can just be like you and do school from home. Yes, you can. Just ask your mom. I don't know if I want to be homeschooled. Why not? Well, like you said, I'm your only friend. So, what's wrong with that? We are all each other needs. Is that someone knocking at your window? It's Beth. Can I go and talk to her? Sure. I have to go anyway. My mom found out. Oh my god, Beth. I'm so sorry. Why? Why? Why are you sorry? This is what you wanted, isn't it? No, of course not. Then why did you tell? I didn't. Stacy did. She said she overheard you tell me at the football game. I don't believe that. That's fine. But please consider forgiving me. Even though I didn't tell anyone, I miss you. And we just made up. You know, people are saying that we're lovers. I know. Do you know how embarrassing that is? To be my lover? Yes, because now my girlfriend thinks we really are. She broke up with me. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. I trusted you. Beth. If I can find a way to stop going to the same school as you, would you want me to stop going? Yes.
Are you sure? You said you'd been thinking of asking me if I wanted to do it for a while. You do realize that once this happens, we have to commit to it? Yes. Being homeschooled won't be all that bad, Mom. I'm older. I can do a lot of the work myself. Why is it that you want to be homeschooled? No one wants me there. That probably isn't true. No, it is. I get bullied and I'm sick of it. So it's been two months since you talked to any of them? Yep, none of them will talk to me and I'm too scared to leave my room. Why? Because I told you, anyone I run into on the streets will say something to me. So, say something back. I can't. Can't or won't? Both. I'm afraid they'll find out about something. Anything I can help with? No, nothing I can think of. Thank you for being my friend, Jaden. You're all I've had for these past two months, even if you are only over the internet. No problem. I'm glad to have met you. You're very special to me. Arya, I want you to know that. Special? He called me special? For these past two months, I've been nothing but a liar, a traitor, an abandoner, but now I'm special. Nothing has changed with me, though. I'm still the same untrustworthy girl that I've come to know and hate. No online boy can change that. I trusted myself to tell him the truth, but he doesn't know. No one knows. Only I know what I've done. Maybe it's because my blood boils with anger when I think about my life, or maybe it's because my heartbeat skips when I think about what's going on, or maybe it's because my veins glow in the dark when my eyes play tricks on me. There's a voice in my head telling me these things. I'm not crazy, but the voice sounds an awful lot like me. And I've been trained to listen to it. Homeschooled or not, a liar or someone who tells the blatantly obvious truth, I will always disappoint myself. So why not punish myself? Why not show myself who's boss or finally slay my enemies? Because my enemies are untrustworthy. Too bad my only enemy is me.